Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to another episode of the Match Day Live series. Today it is the return of the Europa League. We are in the knockout stages now and the first leg is against Bait Borisov away from home. So should be an easy victory to be honest. I think we played them um, twice last season in the group stage of the Europa League. Um, I think we scored 10 goals in total. I think the first game was 4-2. And the second game, we went out and won six goals to nil. So really, Arsenal should be progressing through to the last 16 of the Europa League. Uh, if anything happens, it's going to be a huge shock. Uh, so Arsenal should get the job done. Ramsey and Mesut Ozil, they have not travelled with the Arsenal squad tonight. Um, so even though that they're not going, we should still have a strong enough squad to get the job done. Uh, as we know, Bait Borisov are not in FIFA 19, so today's game, as you can see, is recorded with the MLS team. Um, so again, should be a victory for us in this game. Um, I'm not entirely sure who is in the MLS squad. I don't know if Ibrahimovic is in it, but there we go through, and we've already put the ball in the back of the net. Less than eight minutes gone. And it is now MLS nil, Arsenal 1. Aubameyang, he has travelled with the squad, I believe. After a little bit of an illness, he's not been feeling well the last couple of weeks. Um, so I'm not entirely sure whether he will get the start today. I don't think he will, to be honest. Uh, but we've shoved him in there. I think as a cam, I've got Lacazette playing as the main striker. Alex Awobi on that left side. Mkhitaryan, he's back as well. So he's on the right side. I think Socrates is back from his injury. He's back into full fitness. Whether he gets to start tonight or not, I don't think he will. Um, because it is only against Bait Borisov, I think the team will be a little bit... Oh, what a goal that is. A little bit um, weaker than what we're normally used to in the league. Um, so I think some of the youngsters might get in there. Um, Smith Rowe, he's out on loan now, so he won't be getting a game tonight, unfortunately. But we still do have a couple of good youngsters who can jump into the first 11. Um, some of the um, second string players as well may come in and help us out. But as long as we can get the job done, get a victory, at the very least, just don't lose. Now, if we don't lose, we should have the home advantage and it should be an easy victory there at the Emirates Stadium in a week or two's time. I'm not entirely sure when the second leg is. I don't know if it's one week or two weeks. I can't remember um, how the Europa League works, unfortunately. But MLS going through here, looking to get themselves in front for the first time in today's game. Um, 10 minutes to play in this first half. It is still 1-1. As you did see in that play, um, MLS did score an absolutely cracking equaliser. Um, so now we've got some work to do if we are going to go out and get the victory. Now I was wondering whether to play MLS or the Adidas All-Stars. I think we've already played the MLS All-Stars um, in a couple of games already. So um, I thought why not let's play the MLS team as we have started a new My Player career in the MLS with Toronto FC as some of you may have already noticed. And we've actually just left the MLS. We've headed out of um, Toronto and gone to the Bundesliga where we are now playing for Wolfsburg. And we're actually doing really well. There was another upset, another episode that's gone up today as well. That would have gone up just before this one went live. Um, the Arsenal game kicks off, I think it's around uh, 5.55 UK time in the afternoon. So an early kickoff uh, for a European game. Um, which is probably good for us. Um, that means we can get this one going live around 5 p.m. So this one, whilst you're watching it, will be around 5 p.m. Um, and that means the My Player one will go live around 4 p.m. UK time. So both will be up live by the time um, you're actually watching this video. And then we've got another My Player going live tomorrow. And uh, we did open our Foot Champions rewards as well. I may as well give that a quick notice whilst we're in here. Um, we didn't pack anything decent. We finished Gold 1. Uh, we've got a couple of informs. Our red packs were pretty poor once again. I think 83 Dante. Um, from Nice, I believe it is. He was the best one who we got. Again, two players which we are not going to be using, so pretty poor there. Um, we was hoping for the Reg Pog, but it didn't come, unfortunately. Um, so we will crack on again this weekend some, for some more foot champions and hopefully try and get ourselves in Elite. It's only happened once so far in FIFA 19. Can it happen again this weekend? Fingers crossed it can. Uh, but let's continue on. We are about to end today's episode. It's only been a short one, as most of the Matchday Lab episodes usually are. Uh, but we're trying to settle this one with another 
goal. Can we do it? We can. Alexandra Lacazette. He gets his first goal of the game. That's Arsenal's third. That guarantees us the, the victory here. Three goals to one. I'll take that tonight against Bate Borisov. If we can get the three goals away from home, that'll be a huge advantage going into that second leg back at the Emirates in just a few weeks' time, or a week or two's time. Um, but there is Lacazette getting himself on the score sheet. Always nice to see Lacazette scoring. He'll do his little um, celebration as well with his teammates. But there we go. Into the last minute. Arsenal three. Um, MLS All-Stars won. I can't see Bate Borisov scoring today, but you never really know with Arsenal's defence. Uh, I will leave the poll in the top right as always, guys, so don't forget to um, click that and make your vote be known. Will Bate Borisov cause a shock? Will Arsenal come back with a huge advantage on the away goals, of course? And also leave your comments below who you think is going to be the first scorer and what the scoreline is going to be. So, Thanks again, guys, for watching today's episode. Leave a like if you did like it. Um, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Well, we are very close to hitting 11,000 subscribers now. So once again, thank you all for your support. And I'll see you again in the next one.